Ukraine wants peace. Europe wants peace. The world wants peace. And we have seen who is the only one who wants war. There is only one entity among all UN member states who would say now, if he could interrupt my speech, that he's happy with this war, with his. And this is the first item of our peace formula. Comprehensive item. Punishment. Punishment for the crime of aggression. Punishment for violation of borders and territorial integrity. Punishment that must be in place until the internationally recognized border is restored, until the aggression stops, and until the damages and losses for the war are fully compensated. Therefore, sanctions against the aggressor are part of the peace formula, blocking the trade and relations where the aggressor is a part of the peace force. Physical and social protection are two elements of any nation's life. So, the second item of our peace formula is the protection of life by all available means allowed by the UN Charter. The third item of our peace formula is restoring security and territorial integrity. Look at how many elements of global security Russia has undermined with its war. The fourth item is security guarantees. Every nation has the right to security guarantees, not only the largest nation, not only the most fortunate ones. And the fifth item of the Ukrainian peace formula is the determination, something without which the other four items will not work. This is our determination to in our formula, neutrality. Those who speak of neutrality when human values and peace are under attack mean something else. I rule out that the settlement can happen on a different basis than the Ukrainian peace formula. The further the Russian terror reaches, the less likely it's that anyone in the world will agree to sit at one table with them. Ukraine war, Zelensky denounces Russian terror in UN address like the video and subscribe. We will continue to bring you hot news every day. President Volodymyr Zelensky has accused Russia of and quote, crimes against humanity and quote, after a new missile barrage caused blackouts across Ukraine. He told the UN Security Council via video link that the Russian and quote, formula of terror and quote, had forced and quote, millions of people to stay without energy supplies, without heating, without water and quat, in sub-zero cold. The strikes killed at least seven people, Ukraine said. Nuclear power plants went offline. The three plants still under Ukrainian control were disconnected from the grid and the Zaporizhia plant, Europe's largest, was forced again to rely on diesel generators to power its cooling systems and key safety equipment. The International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA, has voiced great concern about the Russian-controlled Zaporizhia plant, which has suffered damage from repeated shelling. Neighboring Moldova also experienced massive blackouts on Wednesday, but was not directly hit. With winter setting in, Moscow has stepped up strikes on Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Officials say Russia's missile strikes on power stations have caused and quat colossal and quad, damage and left more than half of the country's grid in need of repair. Late on Wednesday Mr. Zelensky said the situation in Kyiv remained and quad, very difficult and quad, and efforts would continue through the night to restore electricity. Mayor Vitali Klitschko said at least 80% of the capital's residents had no power or running water. But Mr. Zelensky said some other cities hit by Russian missiles had managed to Restore power, including Lviv, Odessa and Cherkasy. Cowardly and inhumane, the US ambassador to 
The UN, Linda Thomas Greenfield, said Russian President Vladimir Putin was in quote, weaponizing winter in quote, to inflict immense suffering. And quote, having struggled on the battlefield, Moscow is now adopting a cowardly and inhumane strategy that punishes Ukrainian men, women and children, and quote, she said. In the southern Zaporizhia region, a newborn baby was killed when a missile hit a maternity unit, emergency services said. General Valery Zaluzhny, the commander of Ukraine's armed forces, said 67 cruise missiles were launched by Moscow, with air defenses successfully intercepting 51. Russia also deployed attack drones again, Ukraine's military said. Most of Ukraine's thermal and hydroelectric power plants were also forced to shut down, the energy ministry said. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov did not comment on the attacks during a visit to the Armenian capital Yerevan, but stated that the Inquot, future and success of the special operation Inquot, Moscow's term for its war in Ukraine Inquot, are beyond doubt Inquot. Moscow has said that attacking Ukraine's power grid could weaken Kyiv's ability to fight and drive its leaders to the negotiating table. Kyiv requested the UN Security Council meeting, and Mr. Zelensky urged the UN to do more to help Ukraine. French President Emmanuel Macron tweeted that Russia's strikes against civilian infrastructure constituted a war crime, following similar comments from the US. Earlier the European Parliament designated Russia and Quat, state sponsor of terrorism and Quat, over its attack on Ukraine. Soon after the Parliament resolution was passed the Strasbourg Assembly's website went down, because of what EU officials described as a denial of service attack. By and Quat, pro-Kremlin and Quat, hackers. Blackouts in Moldova More than half of Moldova was left. Without electricity, Deputy Prime Minister Andrei Spinu wrote on Twitter. He said the attack on Ukraine's energy infrastructure had caused a and quat, massive blackout and quat. Within a few hours, power was restored in much of the capital, Chisinau, where a third of the Moldovan population lives. Moldova also experienced widespread power cuts as a result of strikes on Ukraine on 15 November, Mr. Spinu said. Mobile networks were also badly affected. Energy policy analyst Serju Tofilet said that as Moldova and Ukraine were connected to the European grid in March, one of the connection points on the power line between Moldova and neighboring Romania shut down automatically if Ukraine was hit to protect the system, and quat, we reconnect once Ukraine has assessed the damage, and quat, in response to the outages, Moldovan President Maya Sandu said Russia had and quat, left Moldova in the dark and quat, and quat, Russia's war in Ukraine kills people, destroys residential blocks and energy infrastructure with missiles, and quat, she wrote on Facebook, and quat, but, the electricity supply can be restored. We will solve the technical problems and we will have light. Again, all state institutions are working in this direction. And quat, we hope the video was useful too. You, like the video and subscribe. We will continue to bring you hot news every day.